So you started up Voice Attack with the Elite Singularity profile and you were presented with this update checker pop-up. And it's telling you that your plugin and your profile is out of date. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly uh, update your Singularity profile so you can get back to playing in Elite. So the first thing you need to do is click on this link that's provided. It should open up your web browser of choice. I'm going to hit OK here. I no longer need this pop-up. And you're on the web page for the HCS, which says updates and current version info. And on here, they have a brief description of what you need to do. They have the profile version that they're currently at. And down here, they have the version of the plugin that they're currently at. And it also tells you what they did. It's like a patch page. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to update your profile. That's the easiest one out of the two. So to start with the patch update, you would click on the link that's provided. You'll open up Dropbox, and then you would go ahead and download the file. And I'm going to direct download here. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to minimize this web browser. Now that I've successfully downloaded the file, I'm going to pull it out and put it on my desktop instead of having it inside my downloads folder. And you would need to extract this. So first thing I'll do is right click and extract all. And it will extract it to my desktop since I opened it here and extract. And then I get the pop up and there is the patch. Let me resize this. Now in this folder, you have the patch info text and you actually have the profile that you have to import. If you click on the patch info text, it will tell you what they've done. Once again, it's a change log. And it also tells you how to actually do what I'm about to show you in the video. So if uh, the video is not clear enough, read the, uh, the info here. So the next thing you'd need to do is actually import these commands into your profile. Now you don't want to import the profile as a separate profile. You know, you don't want to click on the plus sign here and hit import profile. You actually just need to get those commands out. So how you would do that is you would have Elite Singularity picked and you would pick the edit profile icon. And then you would come down here where it says import commands. So you would click that and that would open up your um, browser and you would go to where you have your stuff stored and I have mine here and there it is so you'd select it and hit open and then it will pop up with import commands and it's telling you that hey all these are gonna overwrite what you just have in there but since it's the patch that's what we want to do so you would go ahead and hit import and you get one more warning that says conflicting. Are you sure you want to do it? Okay, yes. And now it's imported. Once that is finished, you would hit done. And now your uh, profile will be updated with the current uh, patch version. Now that the uh, commands are imported, I no longer need this uh, folder open. So I'll go ahead and close it and I'll go ahead and delete it. And I'll delete the folder that's on my desktop for that. And I recommend that you always uh, close and reopen Voice Attack when you do something like this to your profile or you install a new plugin. That way you don't have any uh, errors down the road. So I'll go ahead and close this. Now, before I open up Voice Attack again, remember the pop up said that my plugin needed to be updated. Now, if your pop up just tells you to do the profile, you're good to go. But if you have to do the plugin, it's a different process. And so let's do that one right now. So you go back to your uh, patch page that you have previously opened. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Now here for plugins, unfortunately, in order to get the plugin, they don't have a patch. What you would need to do is download your voice pack again, and then you would just run the install plugins that is in that pack. Uh, there in the future, I was told that they're going to change it where you'll just have to download your plugin. It'll be separate than your pack, so you don't have to download the entire pack just to get the plugin update. 
So you would go to your email uh, download link or you go to your send out account. Everybody knows how to do that now since I showed you how to in a previous video. And you would download your latest pack. Okay, I've already downloaded my pack from my download link and I will minimize this browser again. Now before you do anything with the file that you just downloaded, you want to go to your control panel and add and remove programs and you want to select the plugin and uninstall it. This is uh, standard uh, practice. You should always uninstall a plugin before you install the new version. That way you don't have any leftover uh, stuff from the previous version. So you just go ahead and hit uninstall. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So now let's get to the actual uh, plugin update. So you'll get your download pack and I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's clearer. And you want to uh, double click on it and it should pop open. Now, in my previous video, I recommended that you always extract your um, zip files to get access to all the files. And you should normally do that. In this case, you really don't need to extract because all you need is this one file. And I know by experience that this one file is, will not call up anything else that's in a zip file. So it's safe to run it directly from the zip so you don't have to unzip it. So to do the plugin, you would go install plugins and you double click on that. And it'll say, do you want to extract all the run? I'm going to hit run here. And it'll take a couple seconds here because it's actually asked to extract it and then run it. I get my UAC pop up. And here we go. And then you would run through just like you did when you initially installed it. And you would install it in the same location. Remember, when you get to the uh, path screen, it should be pointing to where your voice attack is located. And it should stop right at the end here, like it does. There should be nothing after the uh, voice attack folder. I'm a standard install of voice attack. That's why when the program files, remember, you would have to change it to whatever uh, your location your voice attack is installed. And then you would hit next and continue on. Now that it's installed, I'll go ahead and close the zip file. And you can save uh, this pack again, or you can delete it and remove it. Depends what you want to do. And now it's gone. All right. So your next step is to start up voice attack. Make sure everything loads up with the Elite Singularity profile. No pop-ups, no error messages. Okay, so that's all updated. So you can see it's pretty easy to maintain your profile and your plugins just following the uh, patch instructions. And doing that, you'll stay up to date and everything should work normally. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to support this channel and see more videos like that, please subscribe. It really does help out. And that will be it, and I'll see you out in the universe.